Say what it say what it was and say what time you was here and everything. Um, it was it was probably around eleven fifteen, somewhere around that. Right, right. Um, this this black Impala pulled into the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Flashed her lights on me. I was in my car. You was right I here in the car. I was in my car. Uh -huh. I jumped out of my car, and then she pulled up onto the grass, uh, and then she back, back really fast, the fastest she could, and she hit the house. Mm. And so when you came up to the door, what happened? So you you seen her crash into the building? I seen her crash to the building. She um I w I went to see if she was okay first, and then and she was acting like she was she was scared of me. She didn't want to talk to me, and, and started talking to him. And so I just, I just kind of left it alone after that. So to come, come here. So after she, when, when you came out and she didn't want to talk to him, where was you at when you just walked up to her because she was still in the car? Yeah, when that we happened? both walked up to her because I asked him what the hell happened. So walked up to her, I asked for her ID immediately because she was like, call the cops. I'm like, no, give me your ID. And then I talked to you. Mm -hmm. Told you about the situation. Tried to record as much as I could. Told the lady about the situation you know, with us living here. We live here. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So you attacking the wrong people. We ain't sending money to Palestine or Israel, whichever one. Mm -hmm. We ain't the ones sending billions of dollars. We don't even got that. So then when you talk to her, you got her ID, then what she do? She just kept going in her language. I don't know what the specific language is for Palestinians or whatever it is. She just, you know, the whole nine, just talking in her language. And then eventually it was like, free Palestine, free Palestine. We are black people. We have nothing Genocide. going on. Yeah, we're not the ones genociding your people. We're not the ones that making those decisions to make sure those people are putting down. So why are you attacking us? And then she kept, she was like a robot, just stuck on repeat, kept saying that. Even mm. though I kept hitting her with more and more facts, it was just like she was a robot, just stuck saying that. Yeah, she must, they must have trained her what to say when, you, when you, afterwards, just say this over and over again. She eventually started losing a little bit of her spirit, but she still kept going more and more, especially when the cops came. That's them. There we go. That's the news van. Yeah. So she kept going on and on. So when I called 911, I called 911 after talking to you called them they sent the firefighters before they sent the cops which is confusing to me because when i said it was like a, you know i said it was a terrorist attack because literally it is for verbatim so they sent the firefighters first firefighters really didn't do nothing besides just look at the vehicle and see if it was intentionally you know damaging the house they said the structural integrity was good mm -hmm. apparently the structural integrity was good enough so they could have just towed it out and that's what they said but i'm confused on why the firefighters got here first before the cops because this is a hate crime. This is a terrorist attack. This is something that happened right. on the land. So, as far as I know, as far as I'm gonna keep it, it's white man is the devil. They don't yeah, care I'm about right. us. Yeah, I'm right. Fucking white man. But uh, all right.